Hello everybody, welcome to Without Within, a free, um, hold on, a free visual novel game that I happen to find on Steam. It may be short, like some people say, but it's still a really good visual novel game, and since I'm a huge fan of visual novel games, I decided we check this out. So, let's begin. Vinity, 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 Vinity. The chance of my fans echo through the door in front of me. One of my two bodyguards wrapped his hands around the doorknob. Please prepare yourself, Miss Vinity. Once I open this door, we'll head straight for our limo. Apparently, I gotta click. The guard has no reason to fret. I had long since grown used to these crowds. Still, I nodded to put him at ease. After taking a deep breath, he pushed the door open. A crowd of hundreds raised their cameras as soon as I stepped out. My guards waved their arms to shoo them away. The red carpet was for me to walk on. After all, I blew a kiss to these starstruck peasants. What, peasants? Miss Vinity, please, let's hurry up, the bodyguard said. Too bad for him. I strode along like a model on the catwalk. A group of reporters managed to warm through the crowds. They now tiptoed over my guards in hopes of scrolling that exclusive. Vinity, how does it feel to one another? Telegrapher of the Year Award. A reporter asked me. Before I could answer, another dozen people shouted over each other, hoping for my attention. Vinity, may I get a photo with you? Can you sign some autographs for my kids? And two for me, of course? Ah, I can't believe I'm standing this close to Vinity! My fans stamped their dirty shoes all over the red carpet. Finally, my bodyguard pulled their pulled their pepper strays to keep these fans in check. <laughs> a young male reached in my direction despite having a spray into his face. Rather admirable for a peasant. I extended a hand for this male man to kiss. Unfortunately for him, he fainted at the sight of my perfectly polished nails. I reached my limousine at last. My bodyguards opened the door for me as I climbed in. My trailing fans shaped as many photos as they could. Miss Vinity, Miss Vinity, the crowd chanted as my car window pulled up. How odd. They never referred to me as Miss. Oh, my graceful presence must have been too much for their sanity. These poor things. Miss Vinity, Miss Vinity. Car drove away. Oh, it was just a fucking dream. <laughs> oh, well, I have fun while I have fun while it lasted. At least I got a ride in a limousine for a good thirty seconds. In real life, my only regular vehicle was my ten-year-old bicycle. My apartment had no space for a car anyway. Actually, the single room with cracked walls might be an insult to the, to the word apartment. Pull up those curtains for a spe spectacular $1 view, viewing a sewage pipe, and a wall tainted with yellow. Oh my god. Just open the window if you wish to smell sewage as well. A breathtaking experience. By the way, sorry, I need to take back the room thing. This place actually has two rooms, thank you very much. The second room happened to be a toilet. Still counted, right? Toilet clock three times, three times a month. So be careful when using it. Miss Vinity, Miss Vinity, a woman's voice echoed from outside the hall. She was no fan, but rather my landlady. I glanced over my clock, 6 a.m. Waiting another hour or two would have been nice. She probably just wanted to tell me another rent rise. Nothing good ever came out of that, that woman's mouth. I would be better off staying in bed. Oh, I gotta choose? Oh, man. Um, rise and shine. Coming! As it changes to more appropriate, the landlady kept knocking. I said I was coming, did I not? Maybe I should have walked out naked, if that's what she dug. If this were a game, we might need to get a sale boost too. You know, I'm just gonna go for a, um, a respectful, um, encouraging way, and next time I'll just use the bad way. This is actually a pretty good animation. I do love it. Good morning, Miss Vinity, Lionly said. I must ask, what's with that hair? It looks like you just woke up. I don't like the way she's having that little sign at me. But that's because I did. It's a waste for a young ladies like you to sleep away your youth. Lionly shook her head. She had no right to preach me like this. I wanted to tell her, but decided against it. As doing would have given her an excuse to lecture me further. With her size, if I erased her, she would squash me into a vanity flavor pancake. 
Miss Vanity, your rent was due three days ago. Oh, well, at least there's no rent increase. Sorry, madam. My next paycheck will come after tonight's shift, so I'll pay you first thing tomorrow morning. The landlady grunted. All right, just know that if this keeps up, you'll have to find somewhere else to live. She spun around to leave. Once she disappeared behind the corridor, I kicked my door shut, causing a piece of my crack wall to fall off. I tried shoving the piece back into place. My effort resulted in more wall fragments flaking off. Great, the landlady will make me pay for that next month. Once I became an accomplice, call it calligrapher. She would beg for a chance to shine my shoes. Hey, I sounded a bit ranty before, but that was never my intention. A lot of famous people had humble beginnings I would follow in their first steps. But first, I needed to put in the work. Without within. And so I returned to the busiest street in my era. Whoa. With my holographic spread before me, I sat on the concrete and rested my back against the fence. Car horns blared at me, mixed with people shouting things and other and each other's mothers. Mothers. Mothers and mortars. I don't know. These cars kept expelling fumes that made me choke. Just one of many things I dealt with in the name of art. Pedestrians took almost every inch of space on the street ahead. Surely this would be a day when somebody spotted my talent. As always, no one afforded me anything more than a passing glance, and will soon dwindle. Let me be honest, I never expected to be showered with praise by every head who passed here. She's just as sarcastic as I am! What was that old saying? 10% of people you reached out will buy you work? I could live with that. Even just 1%, please. Anything but zero. I wanted to scream at these people. They had no idea how much sweet I poured into these calligraphies. Oh god. Persevere. I decided to keep displeasures to myself. People often said patience would be rewarded. I wonder if my patience would ever become worthwhile. Just as I thought just as I thought this a man paused to look at my clothes. He had a bucket of fried chicken in his hand. They smelled like they smelled my mouth mouthwater. As the man eyed my work one by one, I felt my cheeks heating up. From the anticipation. anticipation. At last, someone who spared more than a moment with my work. This must be my reward. The time could hardly be more perfect. I summoned the courage to speak to him, but he spoke first. You're charging for these? I managed a tiny nod. The man snorted. I would never hang these on my wall, even if you gave them to me for free. Seriously, this is the most shameless display I ever seen. Well, fuck you. Trolls online were one thing. Confronting ones in real life was just a rarity. Judging from this man's scrawny arms, I bet I could overpower him with ease. Then he would know just how big of a bl blunder he had made. Ah, uh, hour strain, then come back later for him. Folks always said ignore trolls. I clenched my teeth and stayed put. After clenching, chuck chuckling at my face, the man strutted off. Determined to prove him wrong, I continued to sit and wait for potential cut. Another thousand people walked by without sparing me a look. Lingering here any longer would be a waste of time. As I packed my things, I insisted was leaving because my part time started out in an hour. Deep inside, I knew that man's words had rocked my confidence. Giving up on calligraphy would mean I had wasted all this time over nothing. Yet, if I lacked the gift, preserving might make things worse. Tears welled in my eyes and clenched my fist to hold them back. Speaking of tears, I heard a kid crying within the crowd. Looks like he had looks like he had a lost child on our hands. Some pedestrians shot him glances, but none of them offered more than that. These really were horrible people. To cheer myself up, I told myself I would never want calligraphies to be owned by people like that. I should help the kid, but that would mean being late for my job. Yeah, I'm gonna help him. If I just opted for abandoning a child, then I'd do the same for myself. I would be a jerk and a hypocrite. With a sigh, I walked up to the boy. There, there. It's okay. Did you lose mummy? The boy was sobbing too hard to answer. I leaned to stroke his back 
with one hand and his head with another. Let me know if you lost mommy, okay? I'll help you find her. There's no need to be scared. The kid managed to nod at last, and I whispered good boy into his ear. What's your mommy's name? Hungry. Her name was Hungry. The toy's bumming tummy growled, and I realized that he meant, Oh, well how about I buy you a sandwich? The kid shook his head. I want ice cream. Hey kid, ice cream is much more of a dirt dessert, actually. I want ice cream. And so ice cream it was. One for him and none for me. The money came out of my pocket, of course. My poor, poor wallet. At least this kid could have eaten the whole thing rather than than half of it melt on his shirt. Jesse, the boy said. That's mommy's name. Jesse, Jesse. I called as I Jesse, Jesse. I called as I strode along the street. Now people stared at me more than ever. Enough of make the, making me blush. In fact, you had to try shouting Jesse at random next time I stole my cut of coins. The sky turned orange as time kicked by. Yes, I knew my shift started half an hour ago. Stop reminding me! A woman squeezed through the crowd and skirted towards us. She ran past the red light, nearly getting hit by a truck in the process. Mommy! The boy shook free of my hold and rushed to his mother's embrace. After muttering to his son, the woman glanced towards me. Oh, thank you so much for your help. You're wonderful. Just wonderful. The torrid of praise curled my lips into a stupid grin. Anyone would have done the same thing. Please, if there's anything I do in return, just let me know, the mother said. Actually, there's something I need help with. The mother nodded. Anything in my power, miss. W which way back to the train station? The sky had gone dark by the time I arrived at work. I opened the restaurant door gin gingerly to avoid making any noise. Stealth mode switched on. They called me Ninja Vinity for a reason. Miss Vinity! The voice of my boss nearly made me jump into the ceiling fan. S -s -s Sorry I'm late! I wanted to explain, but my boss glared at me. I'm a tongue shirt out a bunch of syllables. My explanation was in there somewhere. Probably. Maybe. I received an earful from my boss, but at least I got to keep my job. Several colleagues shot me frowns for not being here during such a busy period. In the end, I took all the blame without complaint. Well, at one point, I locked myself inside the toilet and screamed into the bowl. I might or might not have fantasized about my dunking my workmate's head into a toilet. That was for me alone to know, though. And what? Uh-oh, I just shared it with everybody else. At least I earned the paycheck I needed to keep my landlady quiet for another month. As for the month after that, we would see when the time came. All I wanted was to pursue my art, but reality kept pressuring me toward finding a second job. On my way home, I spotted a banner of an upcoming visual novel named Princess Area. The game had been long hyped from on every form I knew. Amazing art with a cast of famous voice actors, the writer and composers were big names too. Why have I heard that name before? Adventures of Princess Area. I might have seen it. For Princess Area to have an ad this big, there must be a lot of money put behind this project. This way, the way this banner hung high, I'm sorry, excuse me, gave me the sense that it was an extra important. Bright lights shone on the princess's face to impress potential players. And there she goes again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was what I really needed. <laughs> it's just bouncing. If I had... <laughs> boing boing. If I had a banner like that, no doubt people would line up to buy my calligraphy. I could already imagine how folks would react as long as I walked along the streets. Hey, I think that was Vinity. Wow, no way! You mean that famous calligrapher I see on all those banners? Yeah, she must really she must be really good. Maybe we should ask her for our autograph? My agent would then step step in to speak on my behalf. Please line up in an orderly fashion, everyone. How much for an autograph? Shut up and take my money. My agent nodded in response. All graphs are available for a hundred dollars. Thanks. That would be a hundred dollars. Thanks. The game shop owner said. Princess Eric caught twice as why I predicted. If I bought the game, I would have too little left to rent. I opened my wallet, hoping I might have more cash on hand. Then I realized, turned out I had less actually. I hung my head. But the storekeeper decided his. Arched brows pressured me into buying a game. I had did I did have to ride three trains to get here. 
Might as well pick up something. I told Shopkey for how much money I had, and he shook his head. The store owner pulled out a different game from under his table. He brushed away the dust on it, so I can see the cover. Tyra Snowflower War. Some visual novel about the battlefield. Copyright 1997, the bond read. No wonder it's so cheap. Art by Invert Mouse. Whoever the heck that was. The front cover would fit perfectly in a kindergarten classroom. I clipped the case to see a highlight on the back. The game was supported up to 64 x 480 resolution. Truly a pinnacle of technology. The shopkeeper grimaced. He must have sensed I wanted to say no. His stare made my palms stain with sweat, and I ended up buying the game. Dealing with folks like that always been a weakness of mine. Remind me to never visit the store again. Oh yeah, this must be artworks that the dude was making. With heavy strides, I returned to my apartment. Zero crowd calligraphy sales. Late for work and with rent topped off by blowing cash on some game I had no interest in. What I really wanted was to play Princess Area. Forcing myself to stutter everything else would just upset me further. I don't know if we should play the game or sleep. And I guess we'll go for sleep since we don't want to accept her. Forget it. I only, I only bought some flower war out of pressure. After salt, shoving the game into my bin, I crawled into bed. For the next weeks, I tried over and over to sell my calligraphies, but all my works remained untouched. Well, aside from a few pedestrians who stepped in, stepped on them by mistake. Wait, my bad. I did make one sale. This guy said need my calligraphy to use this toilet paper. Ew! I had zero passion left in calligraphy. In fact, just thinking about it filled me with anger. This was no longer the career for me. Today, I chose to retire for good. Bad end! Ah, damn it. And let's start. Stay in bed. It's not back into my blanket. The landlady could knock all she wanted, but my focus was on my calligraphy dreams. I had no time for these common folk matters. A week later, it turned out the landlady was chasing me for my rent. By the time I realized she'd already evicted me, now I live on the streets with nothing but my calligraphy. The last few nights, being freezing cold, I ran out of tissues to wipe my runny nose to make things worse. I feel my head heating up from upcoming fever. Might it interest you in buying one of my works? I got two for one sale till today. Bad end. Ugh. Enough was enough. I sprang off the ground and kicked the fence behind me. The crowd stared as I ranted on and on about their ignorance. I felt good to let it felt so good to let If these people know how to spot real art, my career would have been already been kicked off. Two days later my eruption made its way into the internet. Guys, make sure you never buy anything from her. She's nuts. Ah, who she thinks she is. Spread the news to everyone. We need to make sure people like that never get My career was doomed if I knew one mistake would destroy everything. I would have hit my trap. How I wish I could leave that Ah, so many bad ends. Let's see what happens if we attack him. I crunched up one more time and rose. The man must have sensed my violent intent as he stepped to chill his face with a bucket of chicken. I threw a punch at him before he could flee into the crowd. My face connected with the side of his head. Marked the first time I have ever hit someone. My knuckle hurt from the blow, and seeing this guy draw, drop jaw, make it worthwhile. He probably grew up this way with nobody ever dared to punish him. A couple of pedestrians popped in and held me back from attacking the man further. I squirmed against their grips, but I gave up as my anger waned. Once my breathing returned to normal, the civilians loosened their hold, and I brushed myself free. Uh, I'll remember this. The man fled from the train station, eating another piece of chicken as he did so. I hope he choked on it. Next morning, someone knocked at my door. I checked the clock, 5 a.m. One of the landlady cut me a break. Miss Vinity, it's the police. Uh oh. I cut my hand, cut my hand over my mouth, as if keeping quiet. Make sure the police go away. They must be here to ask about my assault yesterday. The guy punched nothing but talk. I should have let him ramble. The guy knew what the police followed me now. I pray he would at least be spared jail sentence. Tears streaked down my cheeks as I buried myself under the blanket. It had been nothing more than a bad dream. Another bat can end. Sorry, kid. Miss Vinci had a job to go to. Convincing myself another person would help him, I headed off to work. Next morning, the kid from yesterday appeared on the news. The reporter announced he had gone missing. Guilt seized my heart and threatened depression. I ended up just being as selfish as people had criticized. 
A low life like me had no right to dream about success. I can never return to the place without being tormented by remorse. And so my little stint as an honest came to an end. So let's play it. I did spend money on Sunflower War. Might as well give it a go. The day left me pretty drained, so this relic of a game would do a good job putting me to sleep. I switched on my laptop and inserted this, which I partially hoped it would fail to load up the game from old age. Too bad, it worked just fine. No doubt a lot of people were loving Princess Area right now. Meanwhile, I was here, enjoying this 640.480 godsend. No voice acting either. These illustrations look like they were done by a child. I would have done a pair of clothes my eyes and imagine my own art. The grass reached up to our knees. As I read along, I painted an image of the scene in my head. The plants rustled as we waded through. We paused once every few steps, fearing there might be snakes hiding among the bushes. Somehow, we managed to survive the evening. The sun surged from beyond the horizon, outlining the earth with an orange glow. Slowly, the blue sky emerged and vanquished the darkness that had haunted us. As light bat ah, bathed the soil, I found myself in a field of sunflowers. I had imagined this place to look far more terrifying, but anxiety had merely been playing tricks on me. I drew a deep breath to savor, th savor the morning fra fragrance. In the distance, birds chirped, as if applauding our survival. I could see it, not only, but the touch, hear, and smell too. An experience crafted by my imagination, the game image rivaled the strokes of any artist and belonged to me alone. This fulfillment inspired me to take things further. What in the hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> the blast of gunfire defended us as we dove behind the wall. A bullet whizzed. <laughs> I can't read with a fucking pot over her head. <laughs> a bullet whizzed past the tip of my helmet. Sam had passed his helmet on to me with her dying breath. I would carry on her legacy. You know, I'm gonna say right here, so just in case if I get another bad end, I would start right here. <laughs> what the f Ah, <sighs> people's imaginations. The desert heat pinched sweat out, out from my every pore. I desperately wanted to empty this water bottle down my throat, but with no help in sight, I must conserve every drop. Oh no! Joe's eyes closed, this time never to reopen. Despite our promise to survive together, only I managed to live. How I wish I could take our place. I finished reading Sunflower War. Right on the clock struck 3 a.m. How so many people had missed this clock that left me dumbfounded. Actually, that would be a lie, as I too had every intention of tossing this game aside. I kept demanding excitement without offering announce a passion in return. If I played my part, I might be able to discover so much more. As Sunflower's ward, uh, war's credited rolled, I realized just how small the development group was. The team probably knew they stood no chance against the bigger studios, yet they still did their best with dated technologies to deliver a vision they believed in. The happiness they felt when working on a project poured out every line in this game. I could gaze right into their hearts. Heart. The thing I had long neglected. What the? Whoa, what the? Mommy, Daddy! Vinity, what is it, darling? Look, look, it's my calligraphy. Honey, it's calligraphy. But that's great! I think you have a lot of talent. <laughs> this is so much fun! I'm going to become a calligrapher! I had forgotten the last time I found joy in calligraphy. Every stroke these days left like a grocery chore. As I obsessed over how much, or rather, rather how little, people paid attention to my efforts. My works no longer possessed heart, and I failed to notice it. Time to do something about that. I could hardly wait to start. After all, I chose this path because I loved it. Another chapter. The next day, I ventured outside with a new seat of calligraphies. Though I made no sales thus far, I still find myself beaming. That might explain why some people smiled back. Perhaps it was the weather, but I swore everyone felt warmer today. Mommy, mommy, there she is, the ice cream lady. The boy dragged his mother in my direction. It was that kid I helped out yesterday. The mother and I exchanged nods. Honey, 
This lady has a name. It's rude to call her the ice cream lady. What was her name then? Oh, my. It's... Well, sorry. What is it? it it's Vinity. The mother slapped her boy on the back. See? Her name is Miss Vinity. Mommy, can we buy one of those doodles from the ice cream lady? <laughs> Doodle must be another word top of the line calligraphy. No other explanation could restrain me from shaking the brain out of this boy. My name was nowhere inside that little brain anyway. The mother checked her wallet, and her face shrugs up with a, up the way mine often did. All good, madam. I knew how it felt living on the edge, the edge of being homeless. Please, 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 the boy nagged on. This showed why I never have kids. The mother relentlessly at last and bought up one of my works. Guess the boy wanted to repay my kindness. I guess his hair has ruffled as thanks. Oh, I gave his hair a ruffle as thanks. After flashing his missing tooth with a grin, he pulled his mother back into the crowd. Well, at least I scored better marks than yesterday. Another man, another man strolled toward me. Wow, I was on roll. With this heart on my side, my fame and fortune had arrived. Clean my shoes, peasants. Hey, it's you again, the man said. Oh, the troll from yesterday. I calm my thoughts and avoid causing a scene. Maybe this guy came to apologize. Even a creep like him must know how rude he had been. Yes, my aura has cleansed him of all the evil thoughts. Go on, empty your wallet in my greatness. Wow, these new shoes are even worse than the ones you bought last time. Oh shit. Somehow, I turned into an internet celebrity. <laughs> Why you make fun of me? Why are you do this to me? Oh, why are you make fun of my work? I try hard on these. Okay, okay. <laughs> Somehow I turned into an internet celebrity. Talk comments. Damn, snap! Wow, she went full crazy. Lol. Triangle math at zero zero seven Illuminati. <laughs> She'd be like, why you no buy? <laughs> why no buy? <laughs> Didn't I just say that? More like this would be a good time to look at that second job. Well, thank you for playing. Well, it may have been short, but it was still good. I don't know how I managed to get all the bad endings, but... Ah... <sighs> That just proves how an idiot I am. So let's check out the credits, though. Created by Invert Mouse. Illustrators Carla Featherstone, Carousel. Music, Eve Tozen. Testing, Flutters, Rook. Return. So thanks to those. Thank you guys for making that game. It was, I enjoyed it. And hopefully there'll be more in the future. Alright, so everybody. Talk to you later. And bye-bye.